Hey, what is up guys? It's Brewster Tizzy here, and I'm back again with a new uh, series coming here on MLB The Show 20. I'm going to be doing the Pittsburgh Pirates as my uh, new franchise series. One of the things I think that like derailed on like all my other like franchise videos and stuff for MLB was um, I just spent way too long on the games on videos and stuff and the videos turned out to be like 30 minutes long and stuff So what I'm aiming to do here is making these videos a lot shorter um, Making like the game like just a bunch of highlights and stuff um, Nothing long just make them like four minute highlight videos and I'm gonna be simming a lot lot more and just showing like a few games per uh video maybe just one or two but anyways yeah we're gonna be doing the pirates here and they're not the best of teams as everyone knows they're in a rebuilding phase of sorts they don't have the best farm system so it's gonna be a pretty uh, challenging rebuild but hopefully it'll be fun if i sim it a lot and uh progress through the years because they do have some decent prospects so yeah let's get into this so um, i'm not gonna be using the current mlb rosters just for a heads up i'm gonna be using uh raiden rosters i know they added uh like full miners and stuff but they still are missing some prospects and like some of the prospect potential rankings and like ratings are like way off so uh, right on rosters are a lot more accurate and have a lot more prospects and stuff So I just went with that. But anyways, let's get into the actual roster here uh, Josh Bell is the best player in this uh, whole entire franchise as you guys might know He's a first baseman and he has lots of power great hitter um, Obviously not the best defender, but Josh Bell definitely our best player then we have Adam Frazier He's kind of like a all-around utility man. He's uh, decent at everything, not gonna have that much power, but decent uh, defender and good contact. And then looking at our pitching staff here, we have Jameson Tyon. He's our best pitcher at 82 overall. He also has A potential, and he's only 27 years old, so he can still uh, grow. We also have Chris Archer here, and the Pirates kind of got fleeced by the Rays when they traded Austin Meadows and... Uh, Glasno and another good pitching prospect for Chris Archer, but he hasn't been doing that great He's kind of fallen off, but he's still a 79 overall for us and our second best uh, starting pitcher And to round out the rest of the pitching staff here. We have Joe Musgrove uh, Trevor Williams and we have uh, top prospect Mitch Keller at a 73 overall with a potential So looking at the prospects here. I'm doing a top 10 prospect list um Right now, these are the rankings according to MLB.com for the 2020 season um, in the Pirates system. So, obviously, we have Mitch Keller at the top. We have uh, Cabrian Hayes, and we also have O'Neal Cruz. But um, looking at the rest of this, what I'm going to be doing is updating these rankings throughout um, the year and as I sim throughout the season and stuff like that. And as like players upgrade in overall, and potential and stuff and stat wise i'll be upgrading these rankings as well so uh hopefully that adds a cool little like graphic i guess but looking at key brian hayes here in uh mlb the show here he is a potential 67 overall and we also have o'neill cruz he's a 64 overall with a potential and same thing uh it's not there up yet and overall so his stats are kind of on the low side right now so looking at the lineups here on opening day, we have Kevin Newman leading off. He's a 76 overall. We have Brian Reynolds at 77 overall. If you look at his stats, he has 100 contact versus righty. So it's definitely going to be getting uh, tons of hits, I think. Um, at the third spot, we have Josh Bell. And then behind him, we have Colin Moran, Adam Frazier, Gregory Polanco, Jason Martin, Jacob Stallings. And obviously, since we're in the NL, we have to have pitchers. Batting, so we have Jamison Tyon right now at the nine. And if you're interested, this is a lineup versus lefties. Not many changes except I threw uh, Jared Dyson in um, starting left field since he has a decent amount of speed. He has great fielding, and I mean, he's not the best hitter, but uh, the Pirates have no other hitters really. One thing I wanted to do though was sign a free agent. I freed up one spot on the roster so I can sign one and we're going to be signing Adam Jones. I could be signing Yasuo Puig but I don't know I just don't feel like signing him. Um, we have Adam Jones here though 76 overall he's obviously up there in age but still a decent uh, defender overall good hitter and stuff so I think he should be a decent starting left fielder since we have absolutely no one out there in left field. 
So looking at the lineups now with Adam Jones inserted, we're going to be starting him at left field. So basically in the righties lineup, he's going to be batting seventh. And then in the left-handed lineups, he's going to be batting fourth all the way up. So, and we don't have many left-handed hitters in this lineup. So I think he'll be a decent addition. Plus he's a good defender. So even if he regresses throughout the season and stuff, uh, I think he'll be still better than most of the players we have on this team and if you're interested in looking at the pitching rotation here we're gonna have tyon as our ace we have archer at the two we have musgrove and trevor williams at three and four and then we have mitch keller at the five spot i don't know exactly if mitch keller is going to be lasting in the majors his hits over nine is just terrible he doesn't have great stamina he's still only 73 years old so I might be sending him down to AAA sometime and signing or trading for some other uh, back of the rotation pitcher. But for now, he'll be our fifth starter. And then looking at the bullpen, uh, nothing great really. We have Keon Kayla as our closer. He's decent, at least for us, 80 overall. And then we also have Edgar Santana as a setup. But other than that, just a bunch of low uh, rated 70 overall so like I said at the beginning of the video, I want to really reduce on the time I spend on showing like the games and stuff on videos. So what I'm going to be showing really is just highlights of the games, almost like a sports center highlight if you, like, I don't know, something like that, I guess. Just show like um, the home runs, the scores, maybe if a player is having a really good game, I'll highlight on him. But other than that, I'm aiming for these uh, games to only take like four minutes in the video, so... Hopefully that way it'll be shorter for you guys to watch and shorter for me to create and that way we can also sim faster throughout these years and stuff. So today, uh, the day I'm recording this video, it's actually would have been opening day on March 26th, but uh, sadly due to the virus, everything's canceled and shut down, so who knows when baseball is actually going to resume. The Pirates would have been playing this game today and it's in tampa bay so interesting nl versus al matchup on opening day for the pirates so we'll be able to use a dh for um one of the few times this year so yeah here we go charlie morton versus jameson tyon and hopefully uh we went opening day i doubt it though but let's get this uh franchise started off So welcome everybody here to Tropicana Field in Tampa Bay as we're about to face off against the Rays in our opening day game of 2020. So to lead off the game here, Kevin Newman in his first at bat of the whole entire season gets the first hit here for the Pirates in the 2020 season. But unfortunately we don't do anything with that hit and once we get back here on offense at the bottom of the second. I know I'm going to mispronunciate this name, but Yoshi Sitsaku, I don't know how to say your name properly, but he gets the first home run of the year for uh, Tampa and the first score of the game as he blasted out to right field off Jameson Tyon. So after Tyon allows that home run, Willie Adamas here turns a pitch and it goes over Reynolds' head. And unfortunately for us, Adamas is going to go all the way to third here to get a triple as the throw is not in time there. So with one out in the inning, this sets up Brandon Lowe here almost gets a home run off of this. Uh, luckily for us, Polanco gets under it, but Adamas is going to tag up and score as the Rays extend their lead to 2-0. So we go to the top of the third here as Kevin Newman already had the first hit of the season and two outs. He has another double here. So unfortunately, we don't do anything with that double. And at the top of the fourth here with two outs, Kevin Kramer turns a pitch. It's going way out. And it's almost gone as it bangs off the top of the wall. And we almost had our first score of the game. And look how close this was. Right off the top. Unfortunately though, Gregory Polanco just grounds out. Almost gets through the middle. But Charlie Morton there scoops it up and goes for the out. So it's still 2-0 here at the top of the 5th. And to lead off the inning, Kevin Kramer... Gets a double here, almost gets it into that short uh, wall over there as a home run, but once again, it'll be a double. 
and here we have two outs and we don't do anything as we strike out here with Kevin Newman so here at the bottom of the six with a man on second and two outs Willie Adamas turns another pitch and Brian Reynolds makes a nice running catch to go get that ball and save a run so to lead off the top of the seventh for us, Gregory Polanco lines a ball and he gets into second without a problem. So here I decided to pinch hit Jose Azuna for our catcher Stallings and this proves out to be a good move here as Azuna hits it into the gap and that will drive Polanco in as Azuna gets a pinch hit double. So the Rays get rid of Morton and bring in Colin Poche, a left-hander. We bring in Jared Dyson as a pinch runner uh, at second base for Jose Azuna. And we have Kevin Newman here hitting with two outs against Colin Poche. And he gets a hit and that gets over Adamas' head but we don't send Dyson in. We probably could have scored on that but I have the CPU running. And unfortunately we just pop up here with Brian Reynolds so... Missed opportunity once again for us. At the bottom of the seventh, he with two outs and a man on third. Tyon gets out of the quick little jam, throws it to Josh Bell to get out of the inning. So to the top of the eighth we go with two outs, a man on second and first. Kevin Kramer at bat and looking to uh, tie the game up except he hits it straight to G-Man Choi and that will end the inning. So the score is still 2-1, to one, heading to the top of the ninth. Last chance for us, John Ryan Murphy, our backup catcher, gets a single for us with one out. So we still have some life here to potentially even win the game with a home run. So the lineup turns over and we have Kevin Newman up at bat here. He pops it up though, and we're now down to our last out. So Brian Reynolds has the last chance for us. And he hits it and it almost sneaks by Brandon Lowe there. Except he flips on to Adonis to end the game. And we drop our first game of the year 2-1 to one to the Rays. So unfortunately we had a decent pitching game from Tyon. He got rocked in the second inning. But after that he kind of uh, flattened out and uh, performed a lot better. For us though on offense we were way way uh, down. We got a few doubles to lead off the inning, but we just couldn't uh, capitalize on anything. We couldn't uh, hit anyone in except for Jose Azuna with the lone RBI in the game. So my plan here is to simulate the rest of the games through March uh, for the end of the video here and just lead up to April for the next video. But anyways, here we have Chris Archer facing off against his former team against Blake Snell and we lose that game 13-3. And uh, surprisingly, Chris Archer only had a 2.25 ERA, but man, we got absolutely killed in that game. So now we have Joe Musgrove facing off against Ryan Yarborough, and we lose that game also 3-6. to six. And we'll just go on to this next game, Trevor Williams against the Cubs, and wow, we lose 2-12. to 12. We're just getting killed out here. And here we're going to simulate the last game of the video, and we actually pick up the win here with Mitch Keller earning the Pirates first win of the year and we sit now at one in four but yeah that will do it guys thank you so much if you watch this really do appreciate it uh, hopefully this style is better it's quicker it's easier to watch through and stuff and um, hopefully I can make these videos faster and I can uh, like crank them out really and like do a nice series on it but yeah thank you guys again and see you on the next video